In the battle to be the best, electric scooters are a product where innovation is the key to winning the war. It can seem like there are new models, features and innovations being made every second week. In an effort to stand out, InMotion understood that they need to make some giant leaps and in doing so they developed their groundbreaking S1 electric scooter. This scooter boasts great performance, ride comfort and is jam-packed with every feature imaginable. But just how good is it? Well, to find out, we thought the only way was to do a direct comparison against its closest competitor and worldwide bestseller, the Segway 9Bot Max G30. In this comparison, we will have a one-on-one -on -one shootout going through the specs and features of both scooters to tally up which one will claim victory as not only being the best scooter, but possibly the best scooter for you. Round one, max speed. This will be a quick round. For units distributed within Australia, the Segway Max are limited to 25 kilometers per hour. This is also the same for the InMotion, but by connecting the scooter to the InMotion smartphone app, you can improve the speed limit, allowing for a top speed of 30 kilometers an hour for use on private property. First point goes to the InMotion S1. Round two, max range. This is one of the most important factors considered when buying an electric scooter. Each manufacturer calculates this by testing the scooter fully charged with a 75 kilo load at 25 degrees Celsius, riding at a constant cruising speed on a flat road at 18 kilometers per hour. While both scooters have very impressive factory test range, the Segway Max puts up a respectable 65 kilometers, but the InMotion S1 has it against the ropes, punching out a fantastic 95 kilometers. Round three, Max Rider Weight. For riders on the higher end of the scale, this round is a no-brainer. Just like every other electric scooter on the market, the Segway Max has only been built to handle a total rider weight of 100 kilograms. InMotion put some extra effort into the S1, allowing it to carry up to 140 kilograms of rider weight. This is a spec usually only seen in much pricier high-performance scooters. Looks like we might have a new heavyweight champion. Round four, hill climb. If you are gonna get to the top, you need to climb that hill. This is an area where not all scooters are created equal, but in motion seems to have a bit more power here, posting a factory tested climbing angle of 30 degrees to take out the 20 degrees as stated by the 9Bot factory. Round five, motor. With both contenders sporting a rear motor, you would think this might be a more even fight, but you would be wrong. The 9Bot Max motor runs at 36 volts with a 350 watt output. Kind of small when compared to the InMotion S1 and its 500 watt motor. Round five goes to InMotion. Round six, battery. The main thing that the battery will contribute to an electric scooter is the potential distance traveled on a full charge. When comparing the two, a 9Bot Max comes fitted with a 10.2 amp hour battery where the S1 has a slightly bigger 12.5 amp hour battery. But when you also consider the InMotion battery is also 54 volts, this means it is able to drive the motor much harder than the 36 volt battery in the Max, giving better torque and acceleration, which might explain how the S1 also won the hill climb round. Looks like the battle of the battery goes to InMotion. Round seven, charge time. When it comes to charging, the faster the better, to get you back out riding sooner. Also note that a bigger battery, like the InMotion has, takes longer to charge. So for these scooters to fully charge from empty, the InMotion takes 7.2 hours, and the Segway takes 6. So it might look like the Segway has won this round, but it seems the InMotion has a secret weapon up its sleeve. That's right, the InMotion features two charging ports. This means with the purchase of a second charger, you can cut the 7.2 hours to charge time down to a tiny 3.6 hours. Left, right, good night, Segway. Round eight, brakes. One of the most essential components to all vehicles is the ability to stop. This looks like the first round where both scooters will score a tie. Both the Segway and InMotion feature a drum brake on the front wheel and strong electric braking in the rear motor. This means that both scooters deliver a firm, low-maintenance braking system that will keep you safe while riding. Looks like they both live to fight another round. Round 9, Tyres. Could be another evenly matched round. 
both competitors come fitted with 10 inch puncture resistant tubeless pneumatic tyres with grippy street tread. So it's good to see these scooters rolling on some top of the line rubber and another round ends in a tie. Round 10, suspension. The role of suspension is to smooth out the riding surfaces and open up more terrain to ride on. The in-motion packs some heavy-duty shocks in the front and a dual spring system in the back. Overall, the suspension has great travel and will make easy work of even bigger bumps and rough terrain. The 9Bot Max, on the other hand, has no suspension at all. It just relies on the tyres to take out the bumps. Doesn't look like the 9Bot even stepped out of its corner for this round. Round 11, Water Resistance. To guard your scooter against the elements, these leading models both offer a level of protection against water ingress. The Segway Max states an IP rating of IPX5, which means it can withstand indirect splashes from any angle. The InMotion matches this with an IP55 for the scooter body, but then pushes it further with an IPX6 for the controller and IPX7 for the battery. That means that the battery on the InMotion, which might just be the most expensive part to replace, will remain waterproof at a depth of 1 meter for 30 minutes. That is some next level protection. Segway might just have to throw in the towel. Round 12, Lighting. Most electric scooters are fitted with lights so you can see when riding in the dark, as well as be seen by others on the road. To achieve this, the 9Bot Max sports a single LED headlight on the front stem and a rear taillight with brake activation. In Motion's S1 scooter comes out swinging with dual LED headlight mounted right at the top of the stem for best visibility. A brake activated tail light and a pair of ambient LED bars running down the sides of the deck to further improve visibility at night. It doesn't stop there. The LED bars on the deck also double as turn signals, which are automatically activated when you turn the handlebars or lean into a corner. Looks like it's lights out for the Segway 9Bot. Round 13, App Connectivity. Looks like another equal round. As expected, both of these high-tech devices offer a smartphone app to connect to your scooter. Each example of the apps gives you access to scooter settings, ride data, registration and diagnostics. Also, both have a social aspect where you can create a profile and share your ride data with other users worldwide. So this final round ends in a tie. So, looks like we have a clear winner here. After 13 rounds, the InMotion won 10 and tied 3. This means that the best-selling Segway Max is unable to beat the InMotion on any single one of these essential points that every electric scooter is measured by. The InMotion S1 really is the most innovative electric scooter and comes with every feature imaginable built in. For more information, be sure to visit your nearest InMotion retailer and discover if the S1 is the perfect scooter for you.